the Big Brain Time Debate podcast. We have a pretty interesting, uh, uh, pretty interesting little topic here. Kyle, was this your idea? This was a co- this was a combined idea between me and my uh, friend, who's been our uh, our black market topics dealer, and uh, we, were, we were just talking about Disney and Disney's condition right now, and we were like, "What if Phil Swift?" The master behind Flex Tape, this man right here. Uh, what if he owned Disney? And I say he should own Disney because I think he can make it better. Make Disney great again by electing Phil Swift. I have a question. Well, first of all, I'm, I'm going to go on the side of not, he should not um, own Disney. And you guys can say your sides too if you want. Yeah, who's joining me? I am pro Phil Swift. And I am also against Phil Swift. I don't know if I'm against Phil Swift. I'm just against him owning Disney. Well, on that side, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, I, I just think... had to Google who actually owns Disney. Yeah, Bob it, Iger. Is Bob the Iger, though I think he's retiring, is he not? Well, I don't know. He is very, he's the one who is in charge of buying like Star Wars and Marvel, like the big intellectual properties. So why do I think Phil Swift should be in charge of Disney? Well, number one, Disney's been through the crap because they own two massive franchises at the moment that they are trying to run at the same time. And kind of both of them are taking a little flack for different reasons. Disney's animation department has also taken some flack recently. So I, I think Phil, like if you could get that, creative energetic force just behind all of like disney and entertainment i think the juggernaut that could come out of that would be astounding like completely unstoppable but everybody would just be enjoying themselves it would be awesome just an entire disney princess movie directed like a flex tape commercial (laughs) i want that i want it so bad Uh, all right. My argument is, um, yeah, Disney, I'd say they are overall doing well, but like you think about their animation division, Ralph breaks the internet. Like they've just been doing these weird sort of, they're getting to that sequelitis territory. Pixar is doing good, but it's not what it used to be. Um, I mean, well, sometimes they just hit it out of the ballpark still, but you know, Marvel, they just finished their big old thingamajig with Endgame, And now what are they going to do? Star Wars has taken a lot of flack. I think we just need this whole franchise to be fixed with a little flex seal. So does Phil Swift incorporate the product into the films? Of course. Is what we're saying? Good, yes, for sure. All of them. He doesn't have to, but you know what? It's Phil. Synergy. So yeah, he'd add more of that to the films, he would just picture the Wars Hammer Mjolnir, the the leather on the handle. It'd just all be flex tape. Mando you guys keep talking about this inclusion of all these flex products in the movies. It's the flex as on you. A good thing. Why yeah. should we have these beloved franchises be subjected to this um, product? You know, intense product placement where flex tape is essentially now the main character of these movies. It doesn't have to, but I think I think the energy and enthusiasm that Phil Swift brings to what he does, I think he could theoretically bring that into Disney and make Disney just, you know, better than it is right now. I mean, he has, yeah, he has great on. energy and creativity, but like that's all centered around the Flex brand. The, the, that gives us no indication of whether or not that, you know, creative energy can be put into more, um, you know, nuanced products, like, you know, fairy tale stuff. Currently, we've been focusing on whether or not Phil Swift could make Disney better. We never think about whether or not he can make other companies worse. He hits things with a hammer a lot. Just picture him bringing all that damage to DreamWorks. That'd be a lot of damage. Yeah. You can just Do run we... over to DreamWorks Studios with a hammer and just start wrecking stuff. And I think it would be a great business strategy. 
I think at one so, point he even wields a chainsaw. That would be even worse. That's mm. that's or a better, lot of damage. Depending on, how you, depending on how you look at it. There you go. So basically, we're encouraging the further monopolization of Disney's uh, of the of the film industry under Disney, basically. He's a Phil Swift's going to take a hammer to DreamWorks and then Warner Brothers. I mean, it's already started. Why not just let it go? Yeah, it's accelerationism. <laughs> We're eventually let it, let it go. Did you? Yeah. It's going to be the totalitarian state of Phil Swift. And we're supposed to. We're supposed to think of it as a good thing. Yeah. Look at that man's face. Okay, I have. I don't know. This might just be kind of like a gut feeling because I didn't like extensively research it. But have you guys ever looked at like Phil Swift's like personal Instagram? See, I did not seek this out, but it was just like recommended on my on my feed, and I looked at it, and it. I really don't know where to settle. I'm having a really hard time debating whether it's like wholesome or like a little unsettling. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like a bit of an oversharing kind of a scenario. I think Phil Swift would be better with a movie company that does more horror because then he could be the lead and it would be good. Right? You know, like a, like a disturbing thriller. But Disney doesn't do that. <laughs> oh, that's now, a lot of Tell me you wouldn't like to see Phil Swift like with a knife and a, a chainsaw in like, a, in like a horror film as the antagonist. I think that would be a lot better. And then he tapes people's <laughs> bodies back together with flex tape and flex seal. <laughs> Poor Bucket! <laughs> I think we've lost oh. Kyle. <laughs> I don't, not yet, I'm not giving up. Not yet, no, no. See, see, but you're right. See, if he jumped into a movie studio like that, he could make it better. Think, think about that. Think of a man like Phil Swift taking over some, I don't know. G give me, okay, give me a, a horror franchise. Chucky. Yeah, think about him directing or in charge of a Chucky movie. Think about what he could do with that, but then think about what he could do with like, I don't know, Frozen or <laughs> Avengers Infinity War. Or <laughs> but, see, but see, my thing or is that up. those are different. Think about a Phil Swift directed movie Up. Oh, he dies. See, That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, too soon. <laughs> uh... See, my thing, though, is that those are different genres, and Phil Swift, to me, just seems to have this, like, chaotic, sinister energy about him. And I'm not sure how well that would fit into Disney movies, because those Disney movies are trying to be family-friendly. I think Disney but I'm thinking, that. like, an NC-17 Phil Swift film. <laughs> 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 like a... <laughs> That might work out better, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that it might be better for not just Disney, but like the film industry in general, if he joined a competitor and that would force Disney, that would be so good enough to force Disney to actually put quality back into their movies again. So instead of having him being in charge of Disney, we have him be in charge of some other company and thus improving the film industry overall. I was just going to say, I don't know what, it's probably not like necessarily one studio that does most horror movies, but I don't know, like you think Full of like house. Universal with the old horror movies, but um, whatever one he Both does, I think he would be best. I think he would be best utilized in horror. I think an infomercial man who's kind of like slept a bit, like done the Papa John route and he, he just gets revenge for some slight against him. I think that would be really interesting. <laughs> I, 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 wanna, I wanna put something else on the table. I think overall, I, I like the direction Disney's going. Eh, well, okay. I've liked the direction that they're going, you know? But, you know, what studio hasn't quite known what to do or what company? DC. They've been kind of flailing around, trying a bunch of different things, and their most successful recently was probably Joker. Going this horror route, Phil Swift should be cast as the Joker. <laughs> Phil Swift, no, should be in charge of DC. Then he's the full competitor. Or Blumhouse, because they, they're the people who make horror movies, but probably DC. 
just imagine Marvel trying to figure out what to do when their competitor is just flex taping our hearts. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> I think that the energy and those talents of Phil Swift could be better utilized with the different movie studio. I'm not saying you shouldn't get into a movie studio. I'm just saying I don't think Disney with it and really family friendly tone is the right one for him. Yeah, definitely, probably not Disney, but some other movie studio, yeah. I affirm that I think Phil Swift would still work for Disney, but just, I think he could do great things, but you know what? I do concede that he would do great with any movie studio, any entertainment. Can we all come to the consensus that uh, Phil Swift should be in charge of DC? Sure. I, I can do that. All right. See you next week, audience. Flex on. <laughs>